Good afternoon. This is RCB News and I am Ryan Bowling. I want to talk about an article that I was reading out of Epoch Times in reference to a group of young looters in the San Francisco Bay Area that was going from store to store, smashing through the windows with hammers and taking valuable assets. It terrified the people in those stores and the stores further down and they began to lock the barricade themselves in the stores. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read a portion of that article. And then once I'm completed with that, I'm going to give you some key points that I came up with after I read the article. And we're going to read. I'm going to go start right now. The title of this article is up to 40 looters target California Bay Area stores for third straight day. Get that 40 looters. It's pretty significant. Another mob of looters target targeted several San Francisco Bay Area retailers on Sunday night, marking the third such incident in as, in as many days. Police told CBS San Francisco that, that they responded to the multiple calls of smash and grab looting incidents at the Southland Mall in Hayward, located south of Oakland and north of San Jose. They told the station that robbers used hammers to smash cases before running off with jewelry at a jewelry store. I would say at least 30 to 40 people from what I saw, an unnamed witness told San Francisco CBS local, which was corroborated by another witness. But then after the main group of kids rushed out, we saw 15 to 20 scattering. Some even came back and came back in. Notice she mentions this person mentions main group of kids. So these are young people, clearly. And that's, that really tells you something about the moral fabric of our society. But I'm going to get into that. A nearby Macy's store in the mall was also ransacked, witnesses told the station. We saw all the other stores closing. They were panicking. So we were panicking and quickly closed our store and barricaded ourselves, said another female witness. It was very scary, added another to the news outlet. People with no morals, no sense for other people's safety. I feel helpless. It's disturbing. And I'm going to end that article right there. And it's amazing what we're seeing here in our society. But I felt led to read that article because I feel it's important for us to be aware. Now, before I go into my key points, some of you may be thinking, well, man, this is a lot of negative news, a lot of bad news. And, and why do we constantly have to cover this kind of news? Well, I believe that there should be a balance. Every now and then I'll do some positive uh, uh, videos. And you've seen that in some of my other videos when I talked about it was a three part series of the uh, myths of the Constitution. I think those are more positive. So I do. I mix it up. But if we never talk about the negative then the negative will become more and more negative and the negative will take over the so-called positive. Everybody is hooping and hollering about what is positive and never talk about the negative. Then what's going to happen is the negative going to take over. True, there needs to be a balance, but there are other videos that talk about that. Other videos only talk about the good. Other channels only talk about the good. But what I try to do, I try to mix it up. It is important to know who your enemy is and what they're doing because if you don't, and you never talk about it. If, if, if there's a problem and you never talk about the problem because the problem makes you feel bad, then the problem is going to only get worse and worse and worse but, and, until it takes over. So we have to address the problem so that we can find solutions. So that's why I wanted to co I, I cover this kind of material. But I want to get right to the I want to get right to my key points. The first and foremost thing that I want to point out is that the fear of this woman that they just said that she barricaded herself inside and she, they was feeling terrified. she was feeling terrified and helpless. The fear of that woman is by design. Okay, The elites want fear in order to become the source of empowerment. As I said in previous videos, this, I believe, is a communist Marxist insurgency that have taken over our community. And the purpose is to cause as much moral chaos as possible so that they can become the, 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 the solution makers, if you will. Now, I want to point something out that some of you may or may not have heard of. And this is known as the Hegelian dialectic that I believe that these Marxist elitists are using. Now, you say, what is the Hegelian dialectic? The Hegelian dialectic is a theory or a concept that was created by a 18th century 
philosopher by the name of George Hegel. George Hegel, I believe that's how I pronounce his name. I might have butchered it, but George Hegel in the 18th century he was a philosopher and a socialist, and he believed that society is made up of conflict. Everything is about conflict in his, in his, in his belief. His worldview is about everything is made up about conflict. And that in order to get certain solutions, you have to have certain conflicting situations that oppose that solution. And he came up with the idea of thesis, antithesis, synthesis. And some of you probably heard of that in college. Thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. The thesis is the problem. The antithesis is the reaction to the problem. And the synthesis is the solution. So to put it another way, problem, reaction, solution. I believe that the Marxist insurgents and the powers that be that are manipulating the scenes, behind, manipulating everything behind the scenes are using the Hegelian dialectic. They create the problem. What is the problem in society? High crime, def, you know, high crime. Defunding the police, which I don't want to go too far into that because that's not going to be the next point. But high crime, which is in part, in part created by the defunding of the police. There's a correlation there. As you defund the police, crime rises. Why? Because criminals know they can get away with what they get away with. So therefore, you have the problem. People, so what is, the, what, is the, what is the reaction to the problem? What is the reaction? Just what this lady said. She's terrified. She's scared. She's they bought they barricading themselves up inside their stores. She's terrified. She's scared. That's the objective. The objective by the elites is to get everyone scared. That's the re reaction they want. So they create the problem. And as I said, how did they create the problem? They create the problem by defunding the police. They create a problem. They get a reaction from the public. Then they come up with a solution. What is the solution or the synthesis? The solution or the synthesis, because we've got to understand, the synthesis is the co combination or bringing together certain concepts and ideologies into one. So I believe the synthesis that the elites are trying to create is a synthesis of Marxism, communism, socialism, and capitalism built into one. To put it another way, it's like this. You have the communists and you have the capitalists opposing each other. So you have... Conservatives saying, you know, we're against socialism and communism. And you have those who are supportive of communism and socialism are saying, we're against capitalism. So you get these two groups opposing each other constantly all the time, constantly opposing each other, constantly fighting each other, constantly at war with each other. You know, we need, no, we need more capitalists. No, we need communists. No, we need socialism. Boo -boo. They're constantly, and the elites are in the background observing this. And they're saying, go ahead, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep, keep fighting. Keep fighting, but we're going to come in and offer a synthesis, a solution. Here's a solution. Why don't we all just come together and compromise? Hey, you people that are for capitalism, give up a little bit of your capitalism. You people that are for communism and socialism, give up a little bit of your socialism and communism. But let's all come together. That's the compromise that you don't want. But that's the compromise that the elites in office on a local level, state level, and federal level want. They want that kind of compromise because while everybody's in the lower level, oh, man, I'm so glad we got solutions. I'm so glad that the powers that be in the government fixed this situation. The true elites sitting at the top of the pyramid are laughing at us because guess what? They're like, we're the ones with all the power. While you guys think you've won something, it was all created by us. My whole purpose in mentioning that is when you know that, then you won't get tricked. You won't fall for it. So I wanted to bring that out. I believe that this is all by design to bring fear. You create a problem. You get a reaction out of the people. Then you create a solution, the synthesis. The government comes in and saves a day. They want you to worship them. They want the government to be your God. But I ain't going to go too far into that. That might be another video. Another thing I want to bring out, another important point that I want to bring out here is that in order to justify defunding police departments, you have to demonize police. In order to justify defunding the police departments, you have to demonize the police. If you notice on the mainstream news, there's a lot of negativity spun towards police officers. Now, it's true there are some police officers that are abusing their power. 
But that's the same thing in any institution, whether it's in ministry, whether it's in religion, whether it's in, in films, whether it's in school, people all in every institution, there's always an abuse of power. There's always the bad apples somewhere in it. But for the most part, police officers do their job and they do it well. These police officers do their job and do it well, hardly get any recognition for it. And they don't they don't take the oath of they don't take the oath to to in order to get praise and a pat on the back. For what they do, they take the oath because they have in their heart a desire to protect the community. That's their desire to do it, but they get no recognition for it. But every time something negative happens, the mainstream media jump concerning the police officer, the mainstream media jumps on it. Now, what is the main what is usually the, the information that the mainstream media usually jumps on when it comes to police officers? A white police officer shooting an unarmed black person. The way these reporters and journalists spin this information. Even if they don't come right out and say it, it's always in the negative. It's always implied as, oh, this person did this simply because this white police officer shot this person because they're black. Even if they don't come right out and say it, it's always spun in a negative way. Black people react to it or those info, uninformed black people react to it negatively. So now you have a problem. You have everybody angry at the police. Angry and frustrated at the police. Now you got everybody angry and frustrated at the police. Now you got blacks angry and frustrated at the police. And you got whites feeling the same way or feel, or feel like if they're not angry and frustrated at the police and they support the police, they're going to be called racist. So they get on the side of the blacks that's angry at the police. But it's not real because deep in their heart, they're like, it's not true. But they do it because they fear they're going to be called racist. So now you got all this anger and frustration at police officers when 99.9% .9 of the time, most of them are doing their job well. They just don't get no recognition from the mainstream media for it. So now here comes the elites coming in and the mayors and, 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 and senators and, 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 and uh, political officials defunding the police. So now they have a now that's their reason for defunding the police. The whole idea is you got in order to justify defunding the police, you have to demonize the police officers. You have to make them look bad. Over and over and over and over again. Don't fall for that. That's a lie. That's a trick in order to create chaos. Okay. All the good that police officers are doing is way more than all the negative stuff you see. And just because you see and hear something negative on the news, the way it's spun don't all, on the mainstream news don't always mean it's that. Get the full story. That's what I believe. I always believe in getting the full story first. That's the official story. But just because it's the official story don't mean it's the completely accurate story. As has been said over and over and over and over and over again, mainstream media, I said in the last video about this Kyle Rittenhouse uh, uh, acquittal. What is the mainstream media doing? Have been doing and still doing? Lying and saying he shot three black people. Now, if you look at the pictures, clearly they weren't black. Then they said he was a white supremacist. How can you be a white supremacist and you're gunning down white people, the very people that you're supposed to be supporting? Those are all lies by design, people. That's not a mistake. How can you make a mistake over that? You look at dead at it. Even if they didn't see the picture, even if the reporters and journalists didn't see the, the actual people that were shot, why would you jump right off in the back and say that they were, they were black? Why would you do that unless that was something that you're supposed to do? That's something you're supposed to say. I believe it's something that they're doing because they're told to do it. It's by design. And when you know your enemy, you can defeat your enemy. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to end this on this, on that note. I just wanted to end on that note. Uh, be encouraged. Don't take everything at face value. If you guys like this video, press the like button. If you have any comments, please leave your comments in the box below. What do you think about all of this? Do you think it's playing chaos? Or do you think it's just cause and effect it's just stuff that's happening i believe it's playing chaos and when you know your enemy you're able to defeat your enemy so if you like this video press the like button leave your comments in the comment section below share this video and subscribe god bless you all and see you again on rcb news